At the beginning of the year, I always start just painting one color at a time. Um, in the fall, I might start with red as the leaves are turning here in New England where I live. And then we might have an experience with yellow and blue. And you'd be amazed just how beautiful painting with one color can look if you let um, some of the light shine through, put it more concentrated, um, and, and really let children have an experience. What is the quality of yellow? Without talking about it, just experiencing it, or bright red, or the kind of more inward blue. And then as time progresses, I would start introducing two colors at a time, red and yellow, and the children will magically discover um, that orange is on their paper and in their jar. But today, I'm just going to give you an experience of all three colors as the year progresses. And you know, with a group of four to six-year-olds, um, we would, by the spring, be painting with all three colors. If you're working with younger children, I recommend really just sticking with one or two colors because those colors will be in harmony. They'll be beautiful. Um, once you add the third color, if you mix them all together as a young, a two or three year old will just mix them together on his page and it will just turn to muddy brown or gray. So now we're ready to paint. And I've got all my materials laid out here. I have a painting board. Um, this is what I, we carry at Bella Luna Toys. This is made in Germany of recycled plastic. and. Um, uh, some painting boards I've seen are made of wood or sometimes masonite. In my experience, they warp in time. And the nice thing about this board, um, it's, it's made using eco-friendly practices, but it's um, impervious to water and it will not warp. And I've got my three little jars. These are baby food jars, by the way, that are just the right size for my paints. Uh, and then I've got a large pint-sized jar here of clean water for cleaning my brush. I also have two sponges. Uh, one you may notice has paint on it and is used before we start painting, and the children can certainly do this to wipe their painting board clean of any paint that might be left over from the last painting day. And then it's time to put to the paper on the painting board. And again, there's a rough side and a smooth side. And you want to make sure the rough side is up. And then I'll take my clean sponge. So you want to wipe your paper nice and smooth on the board. You want to look for any air bubbles. I don't see any here, but frequently there'll be a bubble. And you want to kind of push the air bubbles out so the paper is flat on the board. And you don't want to wipe it so much that you wipe all the moisture away. You want the paper to stay wet, but not soaking wet. You don't want any puddles. I wipe it till there's a sheen, but it's, it's no longer shiny. And now we're ready to paint. And I would always sing a little song in my class as I was getting ready. I would wait until all these other preparations were done before I handed the children their brushes. We call this tippy brush. And Tippy comes in a little, all tucked in a little bed. But while I am um, going around handing out the brushes, or you could sing this song as you're soaking your paper and doing your preparations, I'd sing, A lovely rainbow, see it span, so brightly shining o'er the land. It is so red, gold, green, and blue. I'd like to climb it now with you. A lovely rainbow, see it span, so brightly shining o'er the land. One day, Tippy Brush woke up and jumped out of bed. It was a beautiful spring morning and the sun was shining. And the first thing Tippy did every morning when he got out of bed was to have a nice warm foot bath. And he would wash his feet in the nice warm water. It felt so good. And he would wipe his feet on the side of the tub. 
and he would dry them on the towel and made sure his feet were nice and clean. And the sun was shining so brightly, Tippy just wanted to go right outside and greet it. So he ran out and said, hello, yellow. He dipped his toes into yellow. And they began to play. And the bright yellow made Tippy feel so warm and good inside. And they ran here and they ran there, and yellow just shined his brightness everywhere they went. Now before Tippy goes to play with another friend, he washes his feet very carefully to make sure they're very nice and clean. And then along came another friend, came friend Red, and Red said, can I play with you too? And Tippy said, oh yes. And red came, and Tippy and yellow and red began to dance about. And as they played, noticed another friend. Can you guess who it was? Oh yes, Orange had come to play too and they were so happy. And Blue came from a distance. Blue came over and said, it sounds like fun. What are you doing? Can I play too? And along came friend Blue And soon, green appeared. And as the happy friends played before they knew it, they were dancing and playing in all the colors of the rainbow. So that's just a very quick introduction to, to Wet on Wet Waldorf color painting. I hope that gives you an idea. There's also a book called Painting with Children that goes into more detail on this technique. Um, but it's very simple, very gratifying. When the painting is dry, they make beautiful note cards, um, you can make lanterns, we've made baskets, all sorts of things because the paper is so heavyweight, but every one is just so beautiful. So I hope you try it, I hope you enjoy it, and thanks very much.